What's up, my peoples? It is your boy, A.M.G. here, and today we're going to be talking to you about My Hero Academia, Chapter 231, called Path. So let's get it. Now, this chapter opens by Giganto Machia, waking up ready to go, coming after Shigaraki. Then we switch straight out of my villain academia sort of and go back to a flashback and we see hawks on the phone talking to someone and he is talking to none other than dobby they're having a conversation we've seen like chapters chapters and chapters ago that dobby and hawks had a relationship because hawks is supposed to be acting like a double agent for the heroes and come to find out there's some kind of important information that is going on between them. And they're trying to, I guess it was Dobby saying they have to do something drastic to get the um, um, hero's attention. And it seems to me <laughs> that Hawks kidnapped Best Genius. Hawks goes to Best Genius' house and, you know, sparks up a friendly conversation, asks him if he's okay. And we find out that Best Genius lost a lung in the All for One fight. So that's the reason why he's been out of commission. That's crazy. So, we see Hawks come with some kind of feather sword thing. And he attacks Best Genius. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and depending on how damage Hawks got at that fight, Best Genius might not be at 100% yet. But if he was, then that means Hawks might be way more powerful than a number two should be. But that's that's crazy to me because that was wild. I was like, whoa. Then we switch back to the battlefield where it's Shigaraki and Spinner trying to run away. And we see them about to get overrun by a lot of the Liberation Army soldiers. And Dobby... No, it's not even Dobby, sorry. Twice comes out of nowhere and rescues everybody. And they're heading toward the tower. And I guess Shigaraki and Spinner beat up some people earlier who told him where, you know, the boss was. Destro was, Redestro or whatever his name is now. Where Redestro was and Garin. And so they're heading there and he, uh, Shigaraki's like, yo, this has to be right because... There's so much more security down this way. It's like they're protecting something. So they keep forging forward and twice is just breaking through everybody, destroying everybody to get through. And even Shigaraki sees all the clones and he's like, whoa, you create all these clones? That's crazy. And twice just says to him, maybe I'll be able to be use, be useful for you. And I'm just like, wow. Because we seen in one of the flashbacks, it was like, he was maybe... I want to say two chapters ago where Twice couldn't, you know, make doubles of the bullets that took away quirks. And now he should be able to actually do that with his new power upgrade, maybe. Who knows? But they go, they're fighting through everything. And Shigaraki's like, yo, I don't care about these fodder. Let's go up to the top, to the tower, because I want the head boss. I don't care about nobody else. I'll let Giganto Machia take care of everybody freaking else. And I'm like, yo, this is some, uh, that's some big talk, which we already know Giganto Machia could. And then we also see Dobby, just a quick panel, is of Dobby and Iceman fighting out against each other. I don't know his name. And I'm guessing they said his name, but I wasn't really sure if that was his name or not. So I'm going to call him Ice Moon for now. Or Chronostasis, probably. Oh, yeah, I'm going to call him Chronostasis against Dobby. Yeah, that looks, sounds that sounds dope as hell. Anyway, so they make it to the top of the tower where you're in and everybody else is upstairs. And, oh, I got to reference a funny thing. So while Twice is running through everybody getting to the tower, this dude says, Move! Get out the way, which is a reference to a little Chris song, which I'm not sure if that's actually uh, the right translation. I'm going to find out when I read freaking Shonen Jump on Monday. But wow, dude. Okay. <laughs> that is crazy if that's real. Like, what? 
But anyway, bro, so they get to the top of the tower, and Redestro is talking to Dobby while Dobby's talking smack to him and all kinds of other stuff. He should have called him a knockoff joker or something like that, because this dude really does. He looks like he should be, well, hello there, Patsy. How are you doing? Like, he looks exactly like the Joker. If he had face paint on, okay, maybe that nose is a little bit more penguin than Joker, but still. But anyway, guys. This chapter was crazy. It had so much stuff in it, and it was so subtle. And I kind of like how they did the flashback at the beginning, then they switched back. It was so like, it was so smooth. These chapters have been so smooth in my villain academia. Like when they move back to the heroes, I'm gonna be like, this doesn't feel like the same series. I feel like Horikoshi needs to chop this in half and make two different series now. Because we already have, you know, Vigilantes, but he needs to make a third series because this feels like it could be its own standalone. It's crazy. But anyway, guys, this chapter was amazing. I love my hero academia like usual. Like the video if you like the video. Comment down below if you have anything you want to say. And subscribe to me, yeah boy. AMG. And remember, anime, manga, gaming is all that. And I'm out, people. Peace. For 30 minutes, don't touch that dial. Don't interrupt right now. Tell mama fall back because another all that coming up right now.